Welcome to today's video, and it's on engine lathe misuse and abuse. Let's not do this. So what we're looking at here is a broken gear shifter fork. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid having this happen to you before the machine repair. What we have here is uh, somebody forced a shift. Uh, the gears wouldn't, the gears wouldn't engage into gear. And instead of turning the spindle, to get movement in the chuck or to get movement in the spindle to get the gears to engage they forced with two hands and they overpowered the shifter fork and they broke the shifter fork off so the proper procedure is that if a, a gear doesn't align you manually rotate the chuck to get the gears to, to align and clear so basically what you do is you give this a spin then move this while this is spinning at the same time. Exactly. So what the, what the operator did here is uh, the gears weren't engaging, so they just forced it and broke the machine. So now we have, a, we have a, a, a painful repair on our hands because they didn't take the time to turn the spindle to clear the gears. And this takes a lot of force. It's a lot of force. They probably had two hands and maybe even a bar on the lever. Ooh. So they could have done more damage. Fortunately, it's just the, the bronze piece broke, but I have to take apart uh, some of the transmission to get that part replaced. So, uh, this could have easily been prevented just by knowing to turn the, the chuck by hand manually. After the repair, this way you can properly see how the mechanism works inside of the machine. Okay, so I have the gearbox open and I'd like to show you what's going on inside the gearbox when you use the shifter lever. So if we look here inside the gearbox, we can see what the shifter lever does. The shifter lever moves the gear assemblies. Now this is, when you can't get the gears to, to align, you're not getting engagement. And what you're, what you're requested to do is to just give the chuck a little wiggle and that allows the gears to, to pop in place. All right. What has happened in this case is that the students didn't understand the mechanics of the gearbox and they forced the lever, they forced the lever, okay? So they, they put too much force on the lever trying to get the gears to engage. But the weak point in the system is the bronze shifter fork at the back of the gearbox. And so they broke the, the shifter fork off of the shifter because they couldn't get the gear to engage. But simply, if you just turn the chuck a couple degrees, that allows the gear to engage with no effort at all, okay? So that's the procedure. You turn the chuck to engage the gear. Now, the steps in fixing this is we have to take it apart. We have to drain the, the oil out of the gearbox. We have to flush the gearbox because of uh, the damaged parts and dust that are in the, in the oil. Then I have to take the front of the gearbox, these nameplates off, I have to pull this handle assembly out. I have to separate the two shifter forks that are on the shaft, which is not an easy task. Then I have to pull the, the shifter shaft back, take, remove the, the shifter arm, and then install and fit the new shifter fork, and then reverse all of those steps for reassembly. So, um, it's a very, it's a six hour repair. Uh, I had to fly a part in from Taiwan to do this repair because uh, they don't stock these parts. They're not expected to be on the shelf. They're not expecting operators to break these parts. Um, so this, this was a completely unnecessary repair. And it's because the, the student didn't understand by simply shifting, by rotating the chuck a couple of degrees that it's easy to shift the gears. You should never have to force a machine lever. All right, so here are the parts. So this is the broken part. Uh, it broke on the stem. The stem is the small point, and it was overloaded by somebody forcing the lever. And then this fell into the gearbox. This is what it should look like. Now, I had to fly this replacement part in from Taiwan. This machine was down for a week and the repair was a day. It was completely unnecessary, and that's time that is taken away from me in the classroom to help students. 
So please, going forward, let's be careful how we shift the gears. This is one video in a series of videos that are designed for students to watch before they go into the shop. Hopefully by watching these videos it will help prevent unnecessary repairs and also safety incidences. A huge shout out to Andrew Spencer, the star of the video.